So, um, yes, uh, big. Um, as many people know, the first act closer of a musical is one of the trickiest things to figure out. You know, you think of a little priest from Sweet Time, you think of the coming of roses from Gypsy, you think of um, Curtis was supposed to love me. <laughs> Um, from Dream Girls, you know, it's the number that propels the show into the second act. And um, we had a lot of trouble with the first act closer of Big. And so in a very encapsulated form, I'm going to be doing the four songs that we did at various points during the show's development. Now, <clears throat> the first one is called Move. And uh, just to let you know, I will be doing um, some vestiges of the original, now lost, Susan Stroman choreography. <laughs> she here? Strong? Strong? <laughs> Call me. <laughs> um, and so we'll take it from there and then I'll tell you the story. My best friend always used to say, way, way, way back when I was just a kid. He said it when we play and boy, it drove me crazy every time he did. What he said was move, you gotta make your move, nothing happens till you move, if you wanna get there, move, move your body, move, open up and move, loosen up and move, hear me saying move your buns off your seat, move your hands, move your feet, just move. Now you can do this, can't you strong, if you can do this, can't you? If you can do this, and you can do this, and you can do anything you wanna do, just move. Move, loosen up and move, hear me saying move like you're playing moves, start to spread out, move, get the ladder, move the rock, move the plants, let your pants start to dance, just move. Now move is a pretty good song, but there were a couple of issues. Like, for instance, whenever we heard that fabulous We all wanted to start to sing I've been sitting here making decisions just like you can In fact, John Sloman, fabulous John Sloman who was in the show, used to say Move, open up and move, loosen up, I wanna be Donna McKechnie, Donna Summer, Donna Reed, I want it all there was a little issue with that. <clears throat> the other issue was that Mompey and Shire decided that they really wanted to focus on Josh getting his first kiss and what that did to him. So, we moved on to plan B. She kissed me. 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 I said something very routine. She kissed me. What just happened? What does it mean? She kissed me. There I was, my normal Annette. Now everything's still normal except she kissed me. There we were, getting ready to go out of town with no first act closer. And so we did. We went to Detroit for a month. And let me tell you, there is nothing as cold as Detroit in January without a first act closer to cook you. <laughs> but we soldiered on, we made changes, they tried four different songs for Krista Moore's first spot in the show. And my, oh, I'm gone. Uh, my dancing bear went from a ballet bear to a hip-hop bear. I've never been hit on more times than in that show, and they all turned out to be those furry people. <laughs> so, there we were in Detroit. Closing night, they threw a big party for us at the St. Regis Hotel, or as Barbara Walsh used to call it, the St. Regis and Kathy Lee Hotel. <laughs> And we had a party in the second biggest ballroom because the first, the big ballroom, Brett, do you remember this? The first big ballroom, they were having the Midwest convention of the Wiccans. 
So instead of a Shriners convention where everyone's walking around with fezzes, everyone has these big pointy black hats. <laughs> and at that party, everyone was kind of morose, particularly the adults. And one by one, the kids started to dance. And they started to pull the adults out onto the dance floor. And all of a sudden, our wonderful director, Mike Ockrent, um, said, That's it! That's it! That's what we need! We need to have the kids bring the adults into the action! That's it! That's it! <clears throat> so, back we came to New York. And uh, went back into rehearsal. And Daniel Jenkins had to have his knee operated on, so for three terrifying days, I had to play Josh. And that's when this next song came into play. <coughs> and so, I was given a song, I went into another room, learned it, and I'm still the only person who has ever sung this song. Once. And it's called Crossover the Line. The music's cool. We ought to be dancing. We're not in school. And you are looking so fine. It's clear to me there's something we should be chancing. So why don't we cross over the line, cross over the line? Who knows what we'll find the moment that we cross over the line, cross over the line? It's yours and it's mine. The moment that we cross over the line. said to me, don't even bother memorizing that. <laughs> and I said, it's too late, I already have. What's there to memorize? <laughs> so, a couple days later, those magical moments happened where Susan Stroman gave Malky and Shire another idea for the number and suggested a groove sort of like Billy Joel's teller about it. And so, Malpey and Shire took the infectiousness of Move, and the character development of She Kissed Me, and the concept of Cross Over the Line, and went away, and as David Shire says, in 45 minutes, came up with a winner. As Richard Malpey then corrected me, he said it actually took them four months and 45 minutes to write that song. <laughs> This is our dance, come on and dance with me This is our chance, gotta move instantly Any minute now it's gonna have flown away If we wait around today, it'll be yesterday Cause tonight's the night when we cross the line Cause tonight is the night it's gonna happen You can't wait on the side, there's a door I feel scared, I feel juiced, I feel 